Hey all, here are OS Reviews. Today we're taking a quick look at the ProtoArc EM01. This is a ergonomic trackball mouse. Now from a design perspective, I will say that this strongly resembles the Logitech MX Ergo Plus wireless trackball mouse. In fact, this is probably where they got their inspiration from. However, Logitech's variant sells for a hundred bucks, so this is going to be saving you almost 40% of the price of that model, giving you almost identical functionality. Trackball here allows you to navigate the mouse, the cursor, without moving your hand around, so it can prevent carpal tunnel syndrome, prevents excessive wrist movement, and also works well if you are limited on desk space, because all you need to do is move your thumb, and the wheel there will move. Otherwise, it also has that interesting tilt functionality, so you can elevate the mouse on on a 20 degree slope depending on your preferences again in terms of how your hand feels comfortable. RGB light out here also is shining on the trackball making it just shine a little bit more. The colors can also be customized and this is a universal mouse which has both 2.4G connection using a USB receiver but you can also use wireless Bluetooth to connect to smartphones and any Bluetooth compatible devices. A full charge claims to get you up to 100 days of usage. It does have the ability to switch between up to three devices at the same time. One thing I will say though is it doesn't seem like this has a wired connection mode. Inside the box, aside from the actual EM01 mouse itself that we'll be taking a closer look at, there is a charging cable that is a standard USB Type-C, which is good. We also find a nano receiver, again if you want to use it in the 2.4G mode. Quick look at the mouse itself, it's constructed primarily out of a polycarbonate plastic with some rubber accents on the sides uh, when you are gripping it as well as on the bottom here. The left and right click keys though are pretty subtle. It's not necessarily a bad thing because you don't have to apply as much force and might be easier on your hands and fingers. You don't get as tired or sore. Otherwise, I will mention that this particular trackball mouse, it's primarily, I think, aimed at right-handed users. Otherwise, it's going to be a little larger in terms of footprint than a traditional mouse because it has to accommodate this extra part, uh, but still is very comfortable in terms of the positioning, of course. Activate the tilt, it's quite simple. This is what it looks like from the side. All you need to do is kind of flip it movement that you can adjust between. Luckily, in both of these modes, the position feels quite stiff, so I'm not too worried about it accidentally flipping by itself as long as you're holding it in the right position. It's not going to actually move and flip-flop too easily, but you can give it a bit of a push and then it will switch into the orientation. Here at the back, there's also a dedicated power on and off key. There's that Type-C port for charging and that is pretty much it, so very simple. Now one perhaps missing feature at the moment would be a place to store that nano receiver. It would be nice if this could be magnetic and they can just stick it onto the back somewhere behind a door, but alas, you are losing that functionality because of that hinge mechanism. Flicking on the mouse here, you can see that trackball section immediately start to illuminate and pretty much plug and play. So just attaching the nano receiver, the mouse instantly starts to work. We can see the cursor start to move around at the bottom region of the screen, working as expected. The LED light, by the way, it will go to sleep after a few seconds of inactivity just to consume less power and then wakes up the moment that you start to use it. Now a few other things briefly about the controls on here. So this bottom key here is changing the DPI setting. So you can see it flash there, it will kind of indicate that you've pressed it to make it more sensitive, less sensitive to your movements. This button here allows you to change the RGB effects, so you can see how it's very dazzling looking in terms of the colors are very soft and gradient, quite pretty, and you can tap on it again to change into a uniform single color, flashing quickly, or into this circular pattern that is dancing like a ring, and then once again into this flashing mode. So you can go through these RGB effects by tapping that key there, which is pretty fun to play around with. It definitely comes alive, especially in darker environments, just makes it look just that little bit more interesting, I have to admit. Now otherwise, on the very top portion, this button here can be used to connect to your Bluetooth source. So by default, it's right now using the nano receiver mode, but if I long hold on this for a few seconds, it will enter the Bluetooth pairing mode. Tap once to instantly switch between them at a flick, which is quite convenient. So for instance, right now, I've also paired it using Bluetooth to this smartphone over here using source number two. So over here I can now bring up this cursor on this Android phone, working perfectly fine, including on Chromebooks, tablets, but at the same time I can flip back to source number one and it's back onto my computer as you can see there. So it's a pretty seamless process being able to instantly cycle between these connection points, which is quite easy to use. Now in terms of the ergonomics, it is in fact very comfortable and all of the keys here in terms of scrolling also feel quite good. Not a lot of lag or jumpiness either that you're seeing, Things are generally quite responsive without too much lag or latency in both of the 2.4G and the wireless Bluetooth modes. 
So that's more or less it as far as our quick hands-on review of this ergonomic trackball mouse from ProArc, the EM01. And I have to say that the design itself is quite striking. If it wasn't you know, something that was inspired by the ergonomic MX mouse, then I would say it is truly unique. But even though it might not be the first, the fact that it is almost half the price of the original but still delivers similar functionality, a very interesting glowing trackball that is dazzling and works well as far as Urgle mouses are concerned, and you are looking for a trackball-based mouse, this is going to be an interesting wireless option to consider. You can learn more details in the links down below, but for now that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews.